We are in the middle of April now and it's getting too warm to keep this side down. So it's already going to be in the high 80s, 90s inside the greenhouse. I already have the doors open. It's only uh, noon today. So I'm just going to go ahead and up these, this north side of the greenhouse and let that help ventilate the greenhouse. I've looked at the weather forecast. I'm going to go ahead and leave this north side up unless I see that we're going to be falling below zero at night and then I'll just roll it down and, and let it be for the evening. Typically I only roll it up once a season and roll it down at the end of the season. Predominantly my wind comes from the southwest. I'm on the northeast right now. I don't want to open up the other side because I think that would be too much of a wind chill. So I'm going to leave that other side down. I'm going to open up the north side here and that should allow plenty of ventilation to allow the greenhouse to cool down. All I have to do is remove this wiggle wire from along this edge here and along the bottom and then I can just roll up this entire side. It'll take me five minutes to do that. I'm just going to use a pair of needle nose pliers just so I can get a good grip on it. This uh, wiggle wire up here is going to stay here to hold the side on. I just use the pliers to grab the end and it just comes right out very easily. And then just a matter of using the hands to get it up. That's as far as I need to go, but this wiggle wire has already been doubled because I, I don't like cutting things and so this is a little bit longer than it needs to be. It's the full length, which I think is uh, eight feet. So I'll just work it out from up there. Now that whole side is taken off. I'm just going to go across the bottom here and remove it. I've removed the wiggle wire and let me just tell you why I have two different kinds here. This is less expensive and I only put this in once and so for example the wiggle wire that goes across the top right there horizontally and the wiggle wire that goes around I use the less expensive wire. This is a, a rubber coated wire it's so much softer easier on the plastic and wherever I have to remove the wire for seasonal changes I use this one and that's going from from the ground vertically about six feet up although this is eight feet so it goes all the way up eight feet and all the way across the bottom here is where I'm going to use the coated wiggle wire. Now that I have all the wiggle wire removed I'm going to go ahead and roll up this plastic. I'm going to roll it backwards so that when rain comes it doesn't affect the plastic and I'm also going to make sure I'm pulling it out so it doesn't get caught on any corners or anything like that as best as I can. All right, it looks like everything is nice and loose. Nothing's getting caught on anything. So I'm just going to go ahead and roll it up. Because it, one person can roll this up very easily because the, the weight of the plastic and the weight of this bar is just right here. So it doesn't take strength to roll it up at all. And I'm just making sure nothing's getting caught kind of wiggling it as I go. Pulling it out, making sure everything's okay. I'm hoping to be as level as I can across here. If I need to adjust, I can simply slide this up or down to adjust for level. Making sure nothing is getting caught. I see that the far end is getting up higher, so I'm just going to lift this up and see if I can't kind of catch up. It doesn't have to be perfect at all. Boy, I can feel the heat coming out already. All right, that far end is pretty much all the way up. And that's as far as I want to go. I don't want to pinch the plastic. Boy, that heat is just coming right out of the greenhouse. It makes a big difference already. 
here along this ridge I have some openings so the air can come out and fill up this plastic when it's rolled down. Now I want to close this up so I'm just going to get some strips of wiggle wire and put it right in here so that the air is stopped and it inflates the top but doesn't leak out and go out the sides. There we have it. We are ready for the growing season, the typical growing season here in Idaho Falls where nighttime temperatures are no longer in the freezing area. So if things get bad all I have to do is simply roll down the side and I'm good to go for the evening. Otherwise I'm going to leave the southwest door open. That will let that nice cool air to come through. It'll blow through the greenhouse. It'll come through this wall here. I can also open up the east door to let the air through too. Eventually I'll open up the other side of the greenhouse so the air just comes directly through and washes through and keeps it nice and cool. But until then, we're ready to go for keeping the greenhouse nice and cool during the day and above freezing at night. This is LDS Prepper reminding you, if ye are prepared, ye shall not fear. If you want to be able to grow food year round in cold climates, please watch all of my DIY geothermal greenhouses.